Want to know where to get the best possible cheap, reliable coins at your fingertips? Perfect. New card. What do you think? Woohoo. Very nice. Look at that. Look no further than MMOEXP. Link is down below. Top of description. Use code META for 5% off. Boom, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. The best fullbacks, the top 10. Now, I've been doing this series for uh, quite a while, uh, past week, I'd say. We've been doing the strikers, we've done, we've done the wingers, we've done the midfielders. Now, we're doing the fullbacks, center backs next, and then the goalkeepers. And then we will be done, and I will do a whole new video, basically the best meta players. But I'm just waiting for the new promo, do you know what I mean? Let that marinate, though. Let's get into it. If you like these shirts, second link in the description. Check out our GoGo -Go shop. They are doing a nice promotional deal as well. But yeah, boys. Check out MMO XP indeed for all these cards that you can acquire. Let's get into the video, man. We're not going to waste any time. By the way, last... Okay. Funny I say that. The very last one. We got our main man, Wick. I'm just going to call him Whip, Wick right there. Thank you so much for being the first guy to be on of the video. If you want to get featured, all you got to do is comment first. Be the first to comment, man. I will shout you out. Thank you so much, Wick, man, for being a legend on the channel. I see you have the subscription badge as well. Much appreciated, man. And thank you all so much for the support. We're getting closer and closer, boys, to that play of the month Mbappe, bro. <laughs> Every boy's been saving up for him, man. Tell me in the comments right there. He's going to be very expensive. Probably three to four more. Straight up. The very first one is going to be Lime Tea. Now we've done 10 of the best left backs, 10 of the best right backs. I feel like it's only right. Do you know what I mean? Top 10 for each of them instead of top 5 for each of them because that would be a very short video. But yeah, Lamptey for the first one. I think he's a decent, decent left back. Is he top 10? I think just inside the top 10 because he's fast. He's very small. That is very meta in this game because especially if they have the offensive ability to track back and still go forward and be agile i mean he's got 99 balance what more do you need only lacks in stamina and you need stamina for a fullback so do bear in mind man uh, i would think that he is probably over time like in a month or so will definitely dissipate outside the top 10 in terms of left backs the very next one is lizarazu i've included him in top 10 now some of them have three star three star i feel like he has a phenomenal play style at attributes acrobatic quick step anticipate as well for a left back is very nice man especially when it comes to interceptions so in my opinion he's up there very, very nice card five foot seven so won't be too tall he will have some nice at attributes when it comes to dribbling and moving up the field he kind of gives me vibes of a better captivia now don't get me wrong i love captivia in this game he's actually very nice he did get i think downgraded a bit compared to last year but i do think lizarazu will be a better card just judging by stats and I've actually versed him a couple of times. Do add something that boosts his agility, though. Do you know what I mean? 5 foot 7 with 77 agility wouldn't be too bad, though. But hey, he's in top 10, man. I like his left back card for sure. Right, we've got the next one, Mendy. Don't really need to say much, man. I'm not going to really speak much about these type of cards. He is probably the best left back in the game. Everybody uses him. Um, he's got 5 star weak foot for that direct passing, that brilliant, brilliant passing, the crossing. His play styles as well. Not really that much this year, I won't lie. Block. Rapid is a main one because he is so fast in this game already. He will catch up to literally any right wing in this game. So yeah, Flair as well. Not really much into that with a left back. But yeah, I do think overall Mendy is up there, man. He's always just going to be great. He has amazing physicality attributes as well. Solid. Talking about Captivia though, he's very cheap now. He's 3 star 3 star as well. He's literally like a cheaper Lazarazu. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. He has very nice acceleration. And in this game, what I've noticed with him, he has the quick step. So he feels so much faster than how much pace it shows. Like if you add something like a hunter, bro. Um, sorry, not hunter. Did I say hunter? Man said hunter. If you add a shadow on him, he goes to an 89 rated left back and he is very quick. Something about him just feels like he's, he's rapid, bro. Very, very quick. Especially for someone that's six foot. So he shrugs, plays off the ball and gets there quicker. Because he's taller, do you know what I mean? It's only right in terms of physics. But as a left back, he's very nice, man. But uh, we are still going on with the left backs that he's running low. Something throws me off for this guy's face, bro. What is he doing, bro? It's like, man, just smelled something like mad, bro. <laughs> I told my friends that, bro. Like, what is this guy's player image, bro? But yeah, never mind. Shout out Renan Lodi, bro. Ping pass, slide tackle. Mid, mid, mid play styles, not gonna lie. Overall, though, when it comes to pace, that's all you need for a fullback. He'd be decent, man, especially the fact that he can get upgraded. Don't know what pro player is in charge of this specific um, card. Obviously, the pro players, if they go advanced um, in, obviously, their respective groups, these cards go up so you can get a better card, is what I'm uh, hearing. I'd say it's not really all worth, man. Easy top 10. It's a tough one, bro. It's a tough one. Do you know what I mean? I did add him in the top 10. All of them are in top 10, yeah, but I don't know, bro. 
Something just throws me off with this card. Tell me how he is, though. I do think he will be fast, though. Do you know what I mean? Cole is definitely in top five, even, bro. He's definitely going to be there, man. I just feel like these icon cards, especially this uh, stage of the game, will just be so, so phenomenal in anyone's team when it comes to the animations mainly because they're icons. And just overall, like, stats-wise, they're going to feel great. Do you know what I mean? Every icon is going to be good uh, when it comes to the fullbacks, spe uh, especially. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Next one, probably the best, the most talked about... And it is the main gal, Sakina Kachawi, a very, very potent left back this year. She is so fast in this game. Very small, might I add. But I feel like in this game, if you have someone with decent playstyles and that has amazing pace, it goes a long way, man. Look at her playstyles and look at her stats. Obviously, she's going to be great, bro. She's only 280k now. I'm not even going to lie. I'd say that's better value than that Furlan Mendy, bro. But I feel like as a pro player, they probably take the full and mini because he has the physical stats and he's a little bit taller. So sometimes, you know, just to eliminate the factor of crosses uh, or the back stick, the back post, you know what I mean? On corners, etc. on cro crosses, you know what I mean? You don't want to have small players at the back and you don't want to get shrugged off the ball. So it only makes sense why people use Mendy and the likes of those cards. But I mean, it depends on your play style as well. If you are good with attacking and defending with small left backs and right backs, by all means, do you know what I mean? So yeah, Robertson is the next one. He is phenomenal in this game because of the rapid plus, bro. Like, that's the main thing. Let's be honest right there. Amazing pace, man. You add something that boosts his agility, probably. Um, engine, and he goes to mostly explosive. I don't see why not. He has amazing passing, amazing pace. You can even slap him at left mid. You'll do a great job. He is 100%. Could even potentially be top five in best left backs in the game. Very nice card, man. We've got Salma B uh, Bacha. She is the most talked about left back right now. She's evidently better than some left backs right now. I think she's actually on the cusp of... Could be better than the main gal, um, Sakina. Kachawi, that is. So I do think that Salma is going to be a very nice card in anyone's team. And she gets upgraded even further. That is the main aspect is why people done her card. She has 96 agility from how her card looks now. 5 foot 3 as well. Very short, very lean body type. It makes it much that better because she can maneuver away, you know, especially if you are a ratty guy that runs on the wings and cuts byline. It's it's a perfect card, man. What more do you need from a left back? And if you can do uh, even get her under 100k, it is the perfect value. Next one, the main man. Roberto Carlos, my favorite left back in the whole game of football, bro. The beautiful game, the main man, Roberto Carlos, unique body type. This type of card is so fun, but actually very vital this year. Especially with the way corners are worked out and set pieces. Those come a long way, bro. Especially how fast he is, you know, he can also compensate in other aspects. Very nice left back, I like him. We got the likes of Capita, anybody will know him. Uh, and Kafu, come on boys, all those cards are just going to be great in this game. Everybody knows they're great, they have amazing playstyles, amazing uh, pace, and it just, it's evidently solid, solid cards. But you could argue that there's better value out there. But I would say they're still top 5, easy. Hector Bellerin, top 10 for sure. Probably not top 5, but top 10. I cannot believe I missed this card. Like, I literally did not do his SPC. I don't know if he was a... I think he was a SPC for sure. I don't know why I missed him, bro. He is so good in this game and can get upgraded. I don't know how far, obviously, real Betis are playing, how good they are in the Europa. I still do think he's a phenomenal card, still to this day, man. So get him in your team. If you have him on the bench, get him in your actual team. Zambrata, for sure, five-star weak foot is always going to clutch up. Amazing pace, very, very nice defending stats. And for now, very nice card, man. Top 10 for sure. Giovanni Di Lorenzo, as a right back goes, we are jumping now to the right backs. We have been. He's going to be this man. Three star, three star. Don't really need. Uh, sometimes it'd be nice to have that extra for weak foot. But I feel like three star, three star is just, it's decent, bro. You don't really need much more than that. He's got ping pass, rapid, and then obviously rel relentless. I think that's decent for a fullback. Maybe if you had anticipated, it would be nice for the defending one. But I do think he lacks somewhat of the agility and balance. So add a chem style and he will still be decent. He's a bit more of a lanky big boy. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I do think Lorente is better than him though. Speaking of Lorente, that's a card I did not add. And he is 100% going to be in this list. I already leaked the actual thing right there. But we're going to add Lorente, man. You gotta, you gotta go Lorente, bro. He is one of the best uh, right backs in this whole game. Even his gold, do you know what I mean? So we will add his... Um, 87 as a right back in this whole game. He is phenomenal when it comes to fullbacks. Get him in your team. I think there is still a way. Now, his initial card was actually a midfielder. You pay 150k. You do like 50 games or so in squad battles or rivals up to you. 
Most people play squad battles and you get yourself an 87 Lorente. I think that is brilliant value. I just can't be asked. If you did him no fair play, I've versed him a couple of times. He is so good in this game. Get him in the team, man. And yeah, I think Dodo is definitely top 10 uh, when it comes to right backs. I packed him actually recently. Very fast, very small. So if you like those type of cards, and he has rapid, so he will be so, so quick. He catches up to almost anyone. The next one, Kyle Walker. Now, this is a card that I absolutely despise in this game. He has been good since FIFA 14, bro. 13. Even 12. Heck, bro. Like, oh my days. Kyle Walker has always been a meta, meta right back. And a lot of people don't actually know how good this card is. Get him in your team, man, and you will see how good he is. He's one of the best right backs in the game, straight up. I'd say top 5, easily. But yeah, you know, everyone here that is top 10. But yeah, unique body type, amazing pace, lacks agility and balance, but that's not, that doesn't even go a long way, bro. You don't even feel it. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes with the turning, like the sharp turning, make sure you, you know that he has that type of agility and balance. But overall, he does the work, man. He does the work. That's the main thing. Frimpong for sure, top 10, 5 foot 7. He's fast. He's 3 star, 3 star. There's a lot of 3 star, 3 star fullbacks, not gonna lie. But yeah, 89 stamina is nice. Agility and balance is beautiful. Frimpong for sure. Ashraf Hakimi, a lot of pros used him in the tournament. I don't know if it was because they were capped at uh, 8 mil. Because obviously they had 8 million budget to use. But I do think Hakimi is still very good. Especially value-wise. Could argue this could be the best valued right back right now. He's so good in this game. He has amazing pace. Will pass as well for that, um, you know, crossing merchants. 92 stamp. Very nice card. The next one, Cancelo, could argue does lack a bit of pace, but I think it's just his pace split at a chem style that boosts that, and he will be always going to be good, man. It's Cancelo. What more do you need? Very nice fullback indeed, bro. The very last options, I added the best valued ones in the whole game. I like doing that uh, for each respective position. It just, you know, um, highlights the factor of if you don't have coins, you can use these cards. Hernandez, everybody knows he's great. Use him, man. He's 21k, bro. If you don't have that cash, then you need to stop playing this game. So yeah, he's very nice, good value. Uh, we got likes of Carl Stop as well. He was free. If you did him, you will know how good he is because he is solid. 3 star, 3 star as well. A lot of people have 3 star, 3 star when it comes to fullbacks, but oh my days. Very nice card right there. Whoop pass plus. Now you know how good that is. It goes directly on the play, uh, player's head. Especially if you have like Haaland in the box, someone with... Uh, like good aerial abilities it's nice but yeah that's the best fullbacks man tell me if you agree i will do the center backs next and then it will be goalkeepers for the very last one but yeah that is the fullbacks probably just add uh, lorente right there i don't know why i forgot about him he's literally like could be the best card right now when it comes to fullbacks but yeah thank you so much for watching i will be in boy metamike smash like subscribe we'll catch you in the next one peace